A century or two ago, if you were exploring the Arctic and your ship got stuck in the ice, not good. A researcher from CU Boulder is going to do that on purpose. Park the ship, let the ice lock it in, and then just drift along for the next year. Matt Shupi went on his first Arctic expedition more than 20 years ago. Today we caught up with him in Boulder, going over the equipment with his team. To me, the Arctic is like a frontier. It's the unknown, and I have always been really fascinated by that. I've been working on the mosaic design and concept for about 10 years. Mosaic stands for the Multidisciplinary Drifting Observatory for the Study of Arctic Climate. We'll have 17 nations involved in Mosaic right now, but all kind of collaborating on the same basic mission to go out there into the sea ice to understand the sea ice, why it's changing, and the implications of that change on the rest of the system. Well, these two wires should be connected. So this is a sonic anemometer, measures three-dimensional winds very rapidly. Take number three apart. Uh, we're working to integrate this instrument and a number of other instruments together so that they can all talk to each other. So we'll have a ship as our main base of operations. That's where I'll live. That's where other people will be every day. And so out there near our ship, we're going to install a bunch of things on the sea ice, including our station. We have some radiometers. These are measuring sunlight. We've got a sonic anemometer. This is the cage thing on top. Infrared thermometer, a device that's looking at water vapor concentrations very rapidly. We're funded, at least the U.S. parts, by U.S. tax dollars to collect data that's available for anybody. And one of the really interesting things about Mosaic is that we're bringing together an interdisciplinary team. So that is people that look at things like the atmosphere like I do, the sea ice, the ocean, the ecosystem, biogeochemical processes, all together in the same place to look at how all those systems are interacting together. And that's something that's pretty unique about Mosaic is to really have that cross-cutting uh, kind of scientific exploration. This year-long expedition will cost $150 million. Shupi says the U.S. government and the National Science Foundation are kicking in about $40 million of that.